But it's certainly no secret that when people come here to Nashville, well, they want to go and see Broadway. Of course, it is the number one destination in yeah. Music City, but sometimes those crowds just get out of control. Yeah, that's right, guys, and that's why police say for the past two weekends they have started to shut blocks of Broadway off to cars to give everyone more space. The crowds, they say, are bigger than they've ever seen before. I spoke exclusively with the Metro Nashville police captain behind the change. He says they're already seeing promising results. Even during the day, downtown is rocking and rolling. At night, the live music is awesome. I love it. To an extreme. But it was wild, full, busy, amazing. But the gridlock from cars and crowds. On the weekends, it is shoulder to shoulder. You can't hardly get through the place. Can bring the fun to a screeching halt. We were having ambulances and fire trucks literally sometimes take 30 minutes to get to a patient um, in the downtown core. With more than a dozen arrests and over 20 calls for ambulances becoming the norm, officers started closing down individual blocks of Broadway two weekends ago, leaving the numbered cross streets open. Captain David Levitt says last weekend, instead of 15 arrests, when we closed those east-west lanes of Broadway temporarily and let those folks spread out, all that seems to calm down just a little bit. There were only four with fewer brush ups between groups. I actually think it's a great idea. I feel like it just might be a little safer, to be honest with you. It's good to see everybody getting back out. But Nashville native Scott Barnes says he's lost business since the closures. Because you're eating up so much time just sitting there and not moving. Uh, he drives a ride share full time and wants to be included in the plan, like with designated loading zones. And you're literally having to call and text people and having them walk four and five blocks over to get picked up. To keep Nashville rocking, even when the rolling stops. And there is no set time for these closures. It's at the discretion of the officers really mm -hmm. on duty when things start to get very busy and that bumper to bumper situation sure. is happening anyway. So they say they start by closing First Avenue mm -hmm. inbound starting at Korean Vets and that's really going to be the main way that emergency vehicles like ambulances can, can get, get in, in okay. to access. Makes sense. Any chance though to make this permanent? They say not right now. That's just yeah. not in the cards. Mm -hmm. It's a state controlled road, so okay. TDOT is actually uh, the one who's in jurisdiction here. But for weekends and for temporary purposes, for crowd control and things sure. like that, TDOT does tell me that it trusts Metro Police to make that call.